Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add length or shorten a sleeve pattern. This is a fairly simple pattern adjustment to make, but I have a few tips that will ensure better success. Let's get started. The only things you need to lengthen or shorten a sleeve pattern are your pattern, a pen, scissors, a ruler, some tape, and if you're lengthening, you'll need some scratch paper. So you might be tempted just to lengthen or shorten right from the bottom of the pattern, and that doesn't always give you the best results. For one, if this bottom of the pattern piece is going to be fitted into a cuff, then you might end up with the wrong circumference of the sleeve to fit the cuff. Or if you're lengthening a tapered sleeve, you might get a sleeve that's just too tight around your wrist. Or if you're shortening a more bell-shaped sleeve, then you'd end up with a shorter circumference around your wrist and it might not have the same look or it might not fit the same way that you wanted. And then the opposite is true. So the best place to lengthen or shorten your sleeve is gonna be right in the middle. And if you are lengthening or shortening a lot, you could do it in two places, but for these purposes, we'll just do it in one place today. So let's start with shortening and we'll start with our tapered sleeve. And if you don't have length and shorten lines in your pattern, you can just draw them in. And the one thing you wanna make sure is that that line is perpendicular to your grain line. So it's 90 degrees. And that's gonna ensure that you cut your fabric on the grain line all the way down the sleeve. So we'll just grab the ruler and draw a line 90 degrees to our grain line, just like so. Then we're gonna take our scissors and cut along that line. Now, if you wanna shorten your pattern, you take your measurement that you want it to be shorter, and then you can draw another line right up here as a little guide. You wanna make sure that you keep the grain lines really even and bring this pattern straight up to our guideline. Tape it down, and then you can see we have this little jagged edge, and you don't wanna have that jagged edge in your sleeve, so you will just smooth it out. So when you smooth it out, you just wanna be careful that you don't cut anything away from the arm side, because then it won't fit as well into your sleeve. So you might just wanna bring in a piece of scrap paper and add a little bit in there. So we're just gonna kinda of smooth up here cut away a little bit and add a little bit. And you'll do the same thing on the other side. So I'm staying away from cutting anything up here. And I'm just evening out this edge. Now for our bell shaped sleeve, we're just going to do the same thing and draw my grain line. I did not draw very straight, but we're gonna draw a straight Lengthen and shorten line that is perpendicular to our grain line. And then cut along that line. And then you can take your ruler and just draw how much you want to shorten it. So we're going to take out this amount of length. And then you want to keep your grain lines matched up and move the pattern straight up until you hit your guideline. So here, we can just go ahead and trim off this excess. So just kind of draw a new line down and cut that excess away. So again, being careful not to change anything at the top or the bottom of the sleeve because we might need to put these edges into another pattern piece and we don't want to have to alter that pattern piece. So we're just altering it right in the middle. And now let's lengthen our pattern pieces. Let's start with our tapered sleeve and we're going to take our ruler and a pen and we're going to draw in a length and shorten line just right here in the middle. And this line is perpendicular to our grain line. And this will make sure that we keep our sleeve nice and on grain when we cut it out. Okay, then 
you need to grab a scrap of paper. And we're gonna put it underneath our pattern piece. If your scrap of paper is translucent, you can use a grid on your cutting mat like this, or if it's not, you'll wanna draw in the grain line on your scrap of paper. So you just extend this grain line down, and then you wanna draw in a guideline for how far you're going to lengthen it. And again, you just wanna keep that parallel to our cut line. We have our little guide right here. So you bring in the bottom pattern piece and you put it right here. You keep that grain line straight with the top part of the pattern piece. And then we can just tape this down. And now you can see that our pattern piece is looking longer, which is great, but we have a little bit of a jig jog here. <laughs> and if we just choose straight lines, we're not really gonna have a very nice smooth curve on our sleeve. So we can just draw in a new line here. Um, just, you just rough it in. It doesn't have to be super exact. <laughs> we did a little better on this side. Um, but you just wanna make sure that you don't alter any of these points because these are other seam lines that need to fit into your bodice or into a cuff. So just be careful that you're only altering in the middle. Then you take your scissors and you can just cut a nice new straight sleeve seam. Now we're really gonna do the same thing for this bell-shaped sleeve. So grab your ruler and line it up with the grain line. Draw a straight line. Cut right down. Then you wanna grab a scrap of paper and put it underneath your pattern piece. And we'll tape the pattern piece in place. Then you want to extend your grain line onto the scrap of paper and mark how far you want to lengthen your sleeve. Then you take this bottom part of your sleeve and you just line it up with those two lines. The grain line needs to be straight with the grain line and the cut edge with our guide. And you tape it in place. Now this one, is lining up pretty nicely. So I'm just gonna rough in, kind of smooth out this line. Again, you can just eyeball it and then cut away the extra piece of paper. Now, after you get that adjustment all finished, you can just use this pattern to cut out your fabric or you can trace it if you want something a little bit cleaner. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that video and that it was helpful for you. Remember, it's really normal to have to make pattern adjustments and most people do. Everyone has really different proportions, so it's hard to have one pattern that's gonna fit everyone in all those different places in your body. So it's really a good idea to learn the places where you might need to make adjustments regularly and then learn, learn how to do them properly. In last week's video, I showed you how to lengthen or shorten a pair of pants. You can check it out right here. I have more videos in the works, so make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and then hit the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. I've also created a series of diagrams or illustrations that show this process of lengthening and shortening. And if that would be helpful for you, they're on my blog and I have a link to that down in the show notes. If you want to support the channel, you can visit my pattern shop or you can buy me a coffee. Again, links are in the show notes. Happy sewing.